We all know the struggle. You endlessly scroll through the takeout menu and land on a classic, butter chicken. However, it arrives lukewarm, the sauce greasy, and the chicken flavorless. There is another way. What if I told you that you could recreate restaurant-worthy butter chicken in your own kitchen without the delivery fee and the questionable quality? In this video, we're going to explore the secrets to making restaurant-worthy butter chicken in your own home affordably and easily. So get ready, because homemade butter chicken is a game changer. I have some chicken thighs that I've chopped up into one inch cubes, and I'm going to start by adding in full fat Greek yogurt. Then I'm going to add in some spices. I have some Kashmiri red chili powder and some garam masala. And then we're going to add in a little bit of salt. Now let's mix it all together really well. Now that all the ingredients are nicely mixed in, we're going to marinate this for about 30 minutes. You can marinate it overnight for best results if you have the time. It's been about 30 minutes, so let's cook the chicken. I'm adding in some neutral oil. I know this is butter chicken and we are going to use butter, but if we use butter to cook the chicken right now, the butter will burn. We're going to cook this chicken for about two to three minutes on one side and then flip it over. We just want to get a little bit of color. We're not looking to cook the chicken completely at this stage. These have gotten a bit of color now and so I'm gonna flip all of them over. I'm gonna take these chicken pieces out now. All right, now we're going to make the sauce in the same pan. All of this that you see at the bottom is going to add flavor to our sauce. So let's go. Let's add a couple of tablespoons of butter. And then we're just going to add in all of the ingredients. Let's start with the whole spices. We've got bay leaves, some cinnamon, and in here we have green cardamom, black pepper, and cloves. We're gonna add them all in. Now let's add in some cashews. I have a handful of cashews, and we're just going to add them in. Here I have some red onion that I have chopped up into large pieces, four cloves of garlic, and an inch piece of ginger. So let's add them all in. And along with that, I have some crushed canned tomatoes that I'm going to add in. You can add fresh tomatoes if you like. I just find that canned tomatoes are more consistent in their taste, and so that's what I use. Now stir this all together and make sure to scrape the bottom of the pan so that the flavor gets into the sauce. Okay, now that this has come to a bubble, I'm gonna add in some salt, give it a stir, and lower the temperature, and then cover it. We're going to cook this covered for about 10 to 15 minutes till the vegetables are softened. It's been about 15 minutes, so let's open the lid and see where we are at. Okay, this is cooked now, so we're going to blend this and then strain it. Let's go. I've transferred the sauce from the pan into the blender, and now I'm going to blend it and then strain it. Straining is key because it really gives us that velvety finish that we all associate with butter chicken. Wow, 
added some water into the blender just to make sure that I get every last bit of that sauce. Although this step is tedious, this is what makes the dish restaurant quality because the smoothness of the sauce comes from straining it, not from adding a ton of butter or cream into it. Now we're in the final stage. We're getting very close to our finished butter chicken. I'm using the same pan and what I'm gonna do now is essentially bring the sauce and the par-cooked chicken together, add the final flourishes and then there is a last step that's optional but really takes your chicken to the next level. So let's finish this dish. More butter, yes. Gonna let this melt. Now that this is almost melted, I'm going to add in some Kashmiri red chili and coriander powder. Let these spices bloom for maybe three to five seconds. I can already smell their aroma and I'm going to add in the sauce now. Mix it all together. I'm going to put some water into this bowl and then dump it into the sauce. Perfect. Now we have this chicken that we had previously par-cooked. It's not fully cooked and we're going to finish cooking in the sauce. Now that the sauce and the chicken are together, we're going to cook this on medium-low heat for about five to seven minutes so that the flavors all infuse together. I mean, this isn't even fully cooked, but you can see how delicious this already looks. All right, it's been about five minutes. This dish is almost there. We're going to add the final flourish. Let's go. Now, before I add any of that, I'm just gonna taste it to see where we are at. All right, now let's add the rest of the ingredients and before we serve it, we'll taste it again. So I have some heavy cream, it's about two tablespoons. We do not need to add a lot of cream. The other important ingredient is kasuri methi. So we're going to use that. Please don't use cilantro in your butter chicken. This is key to getting the authentic taste of butter chicken. I'm gonna crush it in between my fingers as I add it. Let's mix it up. Going to taste it again to make sure we're all good with the seasoning. The next two steps are optional, but they really take your butter chicken to the next level. So here I have pandan extract or what's called kevra water. I'm going to add a drop of that into this dish. I learned this from Chef Ranbir Brar and I think it makes a real difference in the finished dish. You don't want to cook out the flavor of the kevra water. You just want to add it in after you've turned off the heat. All right, that's nicely mixed in. Now we're going to use the dhungar method, a method I've shown on this channel before, to smoke this butter chicken. We're only going to smoke it for two to three minutes to lend a subtle smoky flavor. Got some red hot charcoal and I'm gonna place it into the butter chicken. And then I'm gonna immediately pour some oil over it. It'll start to smoke and then you want to cover it. We're gonna leave this just for about two minutes. It's been a couple of minutes, so let's reveal. We're ready to plate now. It's time to taste. Let's see how we did. Perfectly seasoned. 
I can taste the slight smokiness and the sauce is velvety smooth, exactly what you imagined. All right, let's taste this butter chicken. It is one of my favorite dishes. I've cooked it a lot, probably more than any dish I've ever made, so. This is gonna be a large bite. The problems that you get with butter chicken from a to-go takeout restaurant that might be cutting corners, none of those exist here. We have salt, we have butter, we have sugar. The smokiness from the charcoal is prevalent, but not uh, pervasive. If you've never made this, and if you're thinking about cooking this at home, definitely give it a shot and it'll be better than anything you can get to go. Thanks for tuning in to Master Butter Chicken at Home. Remember, when you cook this dish at home, you're in charge of the flavor and the quality. Let me know in the comments what you think of the recipe. Like the video and subscribe to my channel if you want to dive into the depths of Indian cuisine and culture.